morning, everyone. Um, so I'm going to be presenting a mixed method study of the six-month treatment outcomes and patient experiences from within an early access to antiretroviral therapy pilot in Shisalwini, Swaziland. So Swaziland is quite a small country with a population of just 1.2 million people, and it has the highest reported HIV prevalence rate in the world at 31% of adults aged 18 to 49 years. The vast majority of HIV transmission occurs via heterosexual sex here. There's been an increasing body of evidence recently that has demonstrated that HIV treatment can, be, can have a preventative effect in reducing HIV transmission and can also bring clinical benefit to people living with HIV who start treatment at an earlier stage of disease. Since 2013, there have been two accelerated ART pilots in Swaziland. One of those is PMTCT-B+, whereby all pregnant women are encouraged to start lifelong ART at any CD4 count and also early access to ART for all, which is where all adults diagnosed HIV positive are encouraged to start ART at any, at any CD4 count, and that's also known as test and treat, or EAA. So Swaziland is actually one of the first countries in sub-Saharan Africa to pilot EAA, or early access to ART for all, at a population level. And there have been two pilots implemented in the country since 2014. One of those is led by the Ministry of Health with the Clinton Health Access Initiative in the north of Swaziland, and the other is led by the Ministry of Health with MSF in the Shiselwini region in southern Swaziland. At the time that these pilots started, the national treatment guidelines stated that treatment should be initiated for people living with HIV whose CD4 counts were 350 and below. So obviously, these pilots led to an increase in 